So I thought we'd run through this dice, <laughs> the die idea. Um, so I've made a, an audio cube before. I'll insert a little clip so you can have a look at it. It was crap, but I really enjoyed making it. And so I thought we would make another one, but this time set our expectations a little bit lower so that we actually achieve something. <laughs> so the idea is we've got two parts of this cube. Now I haven't done the bottom part yet. So the, uh, the part with the brain inside, I've just done the top half because I wanted to see if I could actually make that work so that LEDs would shine through. Now we'll talk about the LEDs in a minute, but let's have a look how I plan to have this as a 3D cube. So I bought these standoffs. These are, I think they're 40 millimeter or 37 millimeters actually. Um, little aluminium standoffs for, what are they, M3 screws, something like that. I bought some screws as well. I'm gonna have to buy a lot more of these, I think. Um, I don't know if I'll make it a kit, but it will be fun to just try it out. So let's get some screws out and we'll put this thing together. Now what, oh God. Okay, so these screws, <laughs> Let's just zoom in so you can have a look. They don't have, I thought it was gonna be a crosshead, but it isn't. It's some kind of hexagon bit. Let me just go away and find out if I've got one of those. Well, it turns out I do have one of those bits. So uh, let's shove one of these together, shall we? I don't know how dexterous I'm gonna to need to be to do this, but we'll give it a go like this. Got my little uh, electric screwdriver. So just pop that through. Ace, okay. And then we'll put one on the other side. Oh, actually, probably should put the other ones on first, shouldn't I? Okay, I'll be back in a sec. And the last one. There we go. Okay, so that's the idea. It's gonna be this weird cube with standoffs and we'll get the battery sitting in there. I wonder if those battery holders are around that I bought the other day. Ah, here they are open these up. So the idea is that the battery would sit in here. Um, it should be enough room to take the battery out and put it in again. I'm not entirely sure, but that's okay because it's got screws so you can undo it and take the battery out and put it in. It might actually be safer that way to be honest. So yeah, the controller board will be down here and at the top, I'm gonna remove all of these pins I think and the stupid face, and then it will just be the dice. So you shake it using these, uh, oh God, heaven knows where they've gone now. The vibration sensors, the microcontroller will pick that up. Maybe it will be a microcontroller, I'm unsure. There is something I'm gonna be building on Sunday. Where is it? <laughs> ah, here it is. So this is a little dice, a little, um, dice kit and I'm not quite sure how it's driven but we're going to find out and uh, it might help me in figuring out how I'm going to drive this. So my my sort of plan at the moment is to use an AT Tiny AT5 um, with a 74HC595 which is a low voltage shift register but there's also um, some diode steering I could do with a 4017. Um, I've done that before actually but it was it's a bit weird because I thought the LEDs looked different brightnesses, but that could have been my fault. Um, or I could use Charlie plexing, but again, I haven't actually done that before. Um, I understand the concept. Dave Darko is really good at that, but I'm going to breadboard something up. But today we're going to be looking at how we're going to get the LEDs onto the pads. Now I've been having a look at it and uh, there are some options. And I think we're gonna test a couple of options out today. So here's one option, and that's just to pre-cut the legs of the LED. Well, not pre-cut them, bend the LED legs over and then cut the legs and make sure it's sort of sitting on that uh, area that you can see through. The other option we're gonna look at is using some super glue and we're gonna glue the LEDs down and then bend the legs. So we'll see if that is actually possible. So let's give it a go. So first, I've already done one of these, but let's do a new one. Um, so we're gonna bend the legs over. So essentially, all I'm gonna do is place it on the board where I think it might go uh, and figure out the length of the legs. So I think if I bend it all the way across like this, I'm not sure if this is damaging to the LED. 
and we'll bring it round a bit. That's too long there, so we're gonna to have to adjust that in a second. So let's do again on the other side, bring it all the way down and then bend it back up. That one's worked a lot better. We wanna get it as flush to the board as possible. So let's adjust that a bit more. There we go, that would probably work. Let's place it down, see if it stands up. Yeah, there we go. We can certainly solder that. We'll cut the legs a bit shorter, solder it, and then take a look. Um, but we'll also uh, glue some down, I think. I can't remember which one is the positive on that one. Darn, oh well. Let's glue something, shall we? So I've got some super glue here, that should uh, do. I don't know if super glue dries clear or not, so we'll find out. Don't want too much. And then I'm gonna place the LED on there. Uh, hopefully that will stick. Should we do another one of those? Yeah, why not? Just a little bit. I oh, will do three. And one more. Whoops. Well, it doesn't seem to be sticking. Hmm. This is super glue, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll see how this goes. We'll be back in a minute once it's dried. Right, so I've glued these down and let it dry for a couple of minutes. Um, I don't know really how long you have to do it, but they were moving around for a while. So they are, oh no, they're not very well stuck at all, it seems. Um, will that stick back down? Maybe I need to leave it a little bit longer, but it, they feel like they're pretty much stuck down. I'm not sure this is the best approach. I think maybe just doing it this way is the best approach where I'm bending the legs over. Um, it won't be perfect that way, but I'd really hoped that that would mean that they were completely flush with the board. Oh, well, let's get these other ones soldered on. So the heat might actually help in this scenario. So we'll put the, the, uh, the positive side on first. So the heat might help the uh, super glue dry a bit. I would have thought it'd be immediate. I always thought that super glue was just immediate. I've got to swap hands with my soldering iron. So it's odd. Hopefully I've got these the right way around. Oh, that is not. There we go. That's very hot. Not ideal. So maybe this isn't a great idea either. Someone will tell me I should be using those reverse mount LEDs. However, I think they're kind of expensive and this is a little bit more of a fun approach and it goes with the aesthetic that I like, which is sort of through hole type stuff. Although I do love a bit of SMD after all, I do a lot of that. I want this to be cool-ish. So the holes on this top of this board were meant for resistors. And so the resistors would be, in fact, I can show you here, the resistors would be across there. So you'd see the resistor in situ, I guess. So they all sort of hang down a bit. And I liked the idea that you would see the circuit dangling to the other circuit board. So they're soldered on at least. Let's see if we can't now move these Oh, it might be soldered on enough. And uh, not soldered, it might be dry enough to bend these legs. Mm. 
Yeah, it looks like it. No, no, that's just come right off. Okay, we'll do it the other way then. We'll just bend these legs down and then, oops, we'll bend the legs down and solder them on. I'll be back in a minute when I finish the rest of them. There we go, that doesn't look too bad, does it? I mean, it's not my finest work, that's for sure. However, I do like it. It's very simplistic, isn't it? So it took about five minutes to do all of that. So not really a big job. I wish I'd not started with the super glue. It was just a bad idea. I don't know whether the super glue is just not very good super glue or not, but it didn't really work out well. So let's get some uh, resistors on here. And that's our ground wire. So we need to put that somewhere. Uh, and then we can have a little look at it in action. Um, I did manage to cut myself as well, which is a bit of a pain. Oh well. So after a lot of playing about with uh, wires, as you can see, we've got something working. So I'm using that um, circuit I put together the other day to make the 4060 CMOS 4000 series series video. Anyway, we've got that flashing away. In fact, let's pull, I wanna check the uh, color of these LEDs because I wasn't sure that that was right. Um, let's put that back in, shall we? put our red LED back in. So what I've done is hooked it up to a 4017 and that is a little decade counter. And what it's doing is driving these LEDs, not in order mind, um, because I haven't wired it up in order. So uh, you're just getting some random flashes pretty much. But um, I can slow it down some, I think. There we go, so you can sort of see them a bit more easily and you can actually see that there is a difference here in LED brightness. So all of the other ones here in that four shape, they seem to be pretty sort of standard brightness as you'd expect. None of them are too dim, I think it looks fine. Um, but this one down here isn't quite as close to the board as the other ones, so it's sort of lifted off a little bit. Um, so that's a bit frustrating, but it looks all right, doesn't it? I like it. So imagine if that was a 748C595. The reason I didn't put that in there is because I couldn't be bothered to get a microcontroller out. So all I wanted to do was use some CMOS to drive the thing. Um, but you can imagine with them all on, it will look quite nice. Um, can I put this onto a higher frequency? Not really. You can definitely see how, in fact, if I turn the lights off, I'll turn them all off. You can see them sort of glowing. I mean, it's not the right color, but um, you can see them all glowing. This should be a fairly high frequency, but uh, this one down here, the one I'm covering up with my finger, is certainly a lot dimmer than the others. That's a shame, really. But that is the nature of the beast, isn't it? So let's just put that back on. I think it's a bit slower. Um, in fact, that one there actually is a little bit dimmer than the others. So that's just how it's going to be. There's going to be some crap ones, unfortunately. But that, as we all know, that is fine by me. So I'll continue to develop this. I think we might go with a 748C595 version, but I will breadboard that up as well as doing some Charlie plexing to see how that works. But yeah, this should be, this should be fun. I'm looking forward to it. All right, I'll speak to you all next time.